We in, brothers. Really, we're supposed to know the east off the star. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? We didn't have a compass all the time. Just find out which way to the east. Like the star. All right. So yeah. Everybody in? Shalom. See? Look at the madness. I'm probably going to do work with him. That's how you do it on a second. Look the madness. We good, we good.
So we back out here again, you know, declaring the end from the beginning, volume 29, you know, in the Kohikia Miles, the biggest miles in America, reportedly. And uh, this is just proof that, you know, these so-called white people really did what they did. There's miles everywhere. We're on top of one of the miles that the chiefs will live on, the kings will live on, to the watchmen, you know, if you will, that will oversee everything, you know. Basically in the heavens, if you will. When you're in the heavens, you can obviously see what's below. And that's Revelation 12 chapter. You see that? So you got many of these big mounds. Because there was many men. Going, you see what I'm saying? I was, pretty much watching. You see what I'm saying? Like this king, we talk that king, this king. You know, because there's a lot of people look at them. But nonetheless, it's all proof. And we're going to start this off giving all honor, praise, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father, the Lord, the Son. Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh Shah, for the Holy Spirit, allowing us to come out here and see this, keep going, enduring to the end, and uh, you know what I'm saying, bring this truth out. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone of Israel. Double honors to all you, hopefully, elect like elders out here, and apostles, and the entire conglomerate, who slaves to be saved, those slaves to be saved, and be saved from the destruction, and those people being the Israelites according to the Bible. The elect and one third of the Israelite race who still exist. These are two so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians that have repented. Right? Native American Indians, Seminole Indians, West Indians, so called African people, scattered abroad. And will be found by the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh, who people call God through the sea. Right? And in the name of His Son, who people call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right? Who people call Jesus Christ through the sea. Alright? Those of you that know that's your power. Alright? Shalom. So, uh, yeah, man, it's the 29th episode or volume of standing, not, not declaring the end from the beginning. And we just gonna go into it by the spirit. Everything that's declared to happen, you know, from the scriptures, you know, which is the end of these things. You know, all this going in, man. You see that? So real quick, if a brother can get, uh, matter of fact, just bring it out with that. The uh, 739, and if a brother wanna get, uh, uh Revelation 11, and then uh, jump to like 10. Jump and get first. Revelation 11 and 10. Yep. And they that Middle. dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them uh, and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. And after three days yep. and a half. Uh -huh. The spirit of life from God entered into them. What's the spirit of life? This word. You see? Real, get, real quick, let's get that. Uh, St. John 6 and 63. Mm -hmm. I got it. Go ahead. It's St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. Uh -huh. It says, it is the spirit uh -huh. that quickened it. Yep. The flesh profited nothing. Yep. The words I, that I speak unto you, what? the words uh -huh. that I speak unto you, yep. They are spirit and they are life. You see, these words are life, man. So this is the spirit of life that entered upon us. That's why we're doing lively things. You see what I'm saying? And it's due to this, us constantly getting this word spoken to us. Just sim simply this word being spoke to us that we're the Israelites, we gotta repent. You know, we're not so-called black people. It, 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 at that point, a miracle was, been, it's being, was, was seen. You see what I'm saying? You was able to leave the whole life that you wanted to do and come into this knowledge of things that's been here this entire time. This, the Bible been saying this. The curse has been in the Bible. The slave shit's been in the Bible. America being taken up being the Bible. People finding America has been in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? It's all been here because the end was declared from the beginning. As it tells us in Isaiah the 46th chapter. You got it. Uh, some more. Some more. Some more. 
horses, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they heard and a great... And that's what these people see, you know? When these people see us, they, they, they you know, uh, this, is, this is a sign. And this is fear, because we was once dead. When you look at these lands, if you if you could panic, you know, because this, this is basically in St. Louis. What is it, St. Louis? You see what I'm saying? It's dead though. It's it's it's, it's a beautiful, which is an oxymoron, because it's a beautiful memorial due to the destruction that happened here. Of what 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 once was. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a graveyard basically. And a lot of these mounds got bodies in them. You see what I'm saying? You don't know which ones. You know? But that's what a lot of these mounds was used for. Alright? So this is 100% a grave a graveyard, man. Because it's dead. They never they would have never expected God to come back on horses. You know, you see what I'm saying? You, did you finish that verse, bro? Jump to Genesis 49 real quick. 49 and uh, I want to say uh, 11. Gad. Yeah. This is uh, Genesis 49 and 19. I'll overcome him. That's what happened. So when you look at the, the, the scenery, for those of you that tune in and watch this, they say a truth shall overcome him. And who's that truth? Real quick, not quite out. Not quite out. You can get uh, uh, Genesis, yeah, Genesis 27 and jump to uh, where he said he's going to slay his brother Jacob. Because that truth was, was, was who? It was, it was Esau. That, fierce, that nation of a fierce countenance that will come through the land not sparing none, like an eagle. All throughout the scripture. On who? The northern kingdom. Which Gad happened to be a. Go ahead, bro. Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. Yep. And Esau hated Jacob okay. because of hated. the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Come on. And Esau said in his heart, uh -huh. The days of mourning for my father yep. are at hand. Yep. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. You see? That's who's slaying Jacob. You see? That's who overcome the game. Because remember, this was said, if you jump up to the first verse, this was going to happen at one time. This is Genesis 49 and 1. Mm -hmm. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Yep, in the last days. You see that? So, jump to the yep, 19. Uh, Genesis 49 and 19. Yep. Gad, yep. a troop shall overcome him. In what? The last days. Who's going to be that true? Esau. He said, then will I slay my brother Jacob. No, nobody got dibs on you but me. Like, Vegeta would get mad if somebody would kill Goku. You see what I'm saying? He used to be like, don't. He's like, you better not die, Kakarot. Because I still have to have my battle with you. He wanted dibs on killing Kakarot. He wanted the honor of that. Because they got a real history. You see what I'm saying? It's the, it's the fight for who's the strongest saying, you see? And in this sense, it's the fight for who is, you know, uh, uh, who, who, who gonna rule, basically. That's what the the, 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 uh, the pangs in the birth in the womb was about, you see? Who gonna rule, who gonna dominate? They fight for space, you see what I'm saying? Who gonna come out first? But that's why I said, dummy, the first shall be last. You see that? And the last shall be first. So you lost, dummy, because the elder shall serve the younger. You see? So that, read that one time, bro. Genesis 49 and 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Ooh. That's what actually said to happen. So a troop will overcome Gad before we go into the part how Gad gonna overcome. Who's that troop? And this was due to Gadites, what? Breaking the Lord's commandments. That's what Jacob knew. Yahshua Allah himself, he knew. He knew that the things that will befall us due to us being imperfect, you know, not keeping the, the, the ways of the Father. All praise to Howard Bosch, me, I'll shout. There's a chariot straight ahead. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Khan, go ahead, bro. So, matter of fact, uh, 2815, real quick. 
So these be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. We're in the 28th chapter, right? They tell you that in the first chapter, in the first verse. Jump to 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Yep. But it shall come to pass. See, another prophecy. Come on. If that would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, yep. thy God, yep. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, right. which I commanded this day, come on. that all these curses uh -huh. shall, down, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, yeah man. It's locked. Right? Mm -hmm. Hey, they say, because when the spirit of life enter into you, you're going to stand up. See that? <laughs> That's what it said, right? We, we ain't going to fulfill that sit down. You know what I'm saying? You can jump to the point. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Yep. It says, The Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, yep. from the end of the earth. Woo! As swift as the eagle flyeth. You see, because if, look, if you're on the western hemisphere, be in the northern kingdom, What's the other end of the earth? The east. You see that? Those prayers. That what? That truth. But Esau said he gonna slay his brother Jacob. Jacob a race consisted of the Gadites, the so-called Native American Indians. You see what I'm saying? And the rest of his, his brother. So the Lord said he gonna. You disobeying what the Lord said. You're gonna have curses put upon you. Now, is a truth coming over uh, overcoming you? Is that not a curse? You see what I'm saying? Is that uh, is that not going on right now? Is that not going on right now? You see? Cause why? How is it? We're in the last days. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, continuing. It says. From the end of the earth, yep. as swift as the eagle flyeth, yep. a nation. See, as swift as the who flyeth? As the eagle flyeth. Yep. A nation. Man, a race. Come on. Whose tongue. Man, see. What's, thou what, shalt what, not what, understand. What was the thing called over there? Stone. Was it stone wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah the so little stockings. stockades. Yeah. yeah. See, who was just saying that? That's English. He yeah, said, he? the Lord said his children wouldn't be speaking the same tongue of the nation that comes against them. And what was the tongue of his people? Hebrew. God spoke Hebrew, man. God is the Native American Indians. You see? So you renamed everything, devil, because your tongue threw off the earth. You know? We're going to get that in a second. Can we finish that? Mm -hmm. Come on. <clears throat> It says, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Yeah, different language, because they have a different manner. Like the Lord told them from the beginning. They're going to be separated at birth from, of two complete different manners. Paraphrase. You know, that's a language. You see what I'm saying? Body language. See that? All right. Go ahead, bro. It says, a nation of fierce countenance, yep. which shall not regard the person of the old, yep. nor shew favor to the young. And that's this is your proof. Kohikia or Kahokaya uh, is proof that this man didn't show no, no favor to the old and the young. It ain't not one soul here uh, 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 from the town they was living here. This, this is a tourist attraction that's just desolate and it's free. You can be here as long as you want, basically. You see what I'm saying? It's been trodden down. You finished? Come on. On the first? No. That was it, bro. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Eight and one, eight and one. Hosea 8 and 1 Set the trumpet to thy mouth uh -huh. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord Y'all about you know shot See Woo. And that and, and What would the trumpet be blown from And from who From the Israel, from the watchman You see what I'm saying On the towers On the walls You see That's what these mounds was for Real quick if you can jump there um, Isaiah 62 and 6 Yep. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls yep. O Jerusalem yep. which day nor night you see upon thy walls the walls represent protection these mounds was put here for protection because somebody that is responsible enough will be put basically will be on the mound 
on a high enough mound, which represents the protection. You see what I'm saying? And they will, will do what? Act as a watchman. You see what I'm saying? The watchman do what? Blow the trumpet. Go ahead. God, it says, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Jump to um, Isaiah 58, 1 real quick. And then we got to talk, uh, talk about that. We'll get a few more uh, scriptures that came to my mind. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 4. Uh -huh. Hearken unto me, my people, uh -huh. and give ear unto me, mm -hmm. O my nation. 58 and 1. Uh, 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 Isaiah 51. Oh, select. Yeah, 58. Uh, select. Uh, select. Uh, select. Uh, select. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. It says, Cry aloud. Yep. Spare not. Ooh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. See that? That's what you would do standing up here. So if you got imagine this place being inhabited by all your people, and you've been put in the position upon the wall, you see what I'm saying? You will let them know, because you can see what's going on. That's why I said Isaiah, what's that, the 30, 30, 32nd chapter, the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. You see what I'm saying? All, and then it go into, uh, that's in Isaiah, the Psalms, the Psalms, the Psalms, chapter, where it say, all them that see uh, shall flee away. When they start making their tongue fall upon themselves, the same nation uh, that came against us and took these lands that's still coming against us to this day. Here it is, our city dead, right? And he got his crap lit up. But that ain't the real light. You see what I'm saying? This the light. You know? These basically these sites is gonna come back to haunt Esau. You see what I'm saying? That's what's about to happen. Because that's what the prophecy says. Did you finish, bro? And shoot my people their transgression yep. in the house. Go ahead. Yep. And shoot my people their transgression uh -huh. in the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, because you need to know this because if you don't remember, if you don't hearken, all these curses gonna come upon you uh -huh. and overtake you. And after that first nation is gonna be sent against you. So you as the watchman seeing what's going on, I see my people, not only do I see trouble coming, but I gotta see what my people going off and I gotta tell them. Cause if I don't, that nation on this way. And then, if it's too late, now I just see the nation on this way. And I just gotta tell y'all to get the hell out of Dodge. Which is what Yahweh Shah was telling our people that was on the way. Cause he's like, it's basically too late. He was like, when the bomber nation desolation that come that Daniel spoke of, you just better flee. A lot of mothers got slaughtered trying to stay here. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing it. You see what I'm saying? A lot of mothers fled. That's how it's gonna be in the second siege of Jerusalem. Esau getting ready to come down, having great wrath. He's st that eagle's still around. You see what I'm saying? Jake's still going off. The watchman still look. He put the watchman on the on the top, on the wall. He brought, he he's showing you. He's showing us, man. It's not fake, man. This all spiritual. And look. Though the, 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 the number of, ch of children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. If you don't see nobody but us. You see what I'm saying? So we basically speak it to the wind, if you will, but not necessarily because the word don't go out for it. You see? You got it, bro. 8 and 1. Hosea 8 and 1. Set the, set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant. And, trans and trespassed against my law. See, that's it. So that's why the eagle will come down. And now you find yourself subjected to somebody that prepares himself to an eagle. You see that? That's who, so-called white man. And they want like an He shows it on the money, you know? He makes it plain, so plain that he puts it on the on their dollar bills and on their quarters, you know? All right, all right. And the thing which have, um, which have been are, are the things uh, which shall be. You know, he's been doing that, you know? Beautiful point, bro. Go ahead and knock that out. Psalm chapter 73, verse 9. Yeah. They set their mouth against the heavens. Yep. And their tongue mm -hmm. walking through the earth. You see? You got everybody speaking English now. See? Their language, their way of doing things and going about it. Jake be doing this when they talk to people. Well, you know, that body language. You see what I'm saying? You know, damn well, you don't do that. Put getting on the phone, change your voice. Just talk to you. Esau say, how you doing? What's up? You see what I'm saying? I'm Jake, you Esau. Yeah, yeah, you it's different. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be Esau. Right. 
Right, proper. We the standard, not them. Out of here, man. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 10 and 2. It says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. And I bring that out to say, we not, we not the heathen. So we're not supposed to go into the way of the heathen. We Israel, the prince of the power. Yasha Ali. Right, bro. You got that, um, First Peter four and seven. First Peter four and seven. Matter of fact, bring that real quick. Go ahead. Isaiah thirty two and three. And the eyes of them that that see shall not be them. See. Lord, making sure he putting us up high to really see. You see what I'm saying? He enlightened us spiritually. Now he physically giving us the enlightenment. You see what I'm saying? He like, nah, this y'all. Y'all the people of the mouths. The Israelites, well, yeah, these my people. He wouldn't have put us here. Ain't man's goings of the Lord. Are we bugged out being on the mound right now? Hell no, man. We're here to tell you that Esau did exactly what history says he did. Covered up history. You see what I'm saying? In Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 it says ye are the light of the world mm -hmm. a city that is set on a hill Beautiful. that cannot be hid Beautiful. Go ahead. You mean, yeah, you got fine, it. Fine. You I got bring it. that up that's really what we're doing right now we are, we are on the hill a mountain you know what I'm saying I said we are the only ones here that's, that's got the light ain't nobody else got no light up here they not carrying the, the word like how we are you know what we, we, we those souls of men First Peter 4 verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. See? Don't get it twisted now. Now we're here to declare the end to you. You see what I'm saying? The end of all things is at hand. Go ahead. Be ye therefore sober uh -huh. and watch unto prayer. We watching, right? You need to watch now. Esau finna keep he, that nation finna be sent again because Jake still transgressing. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? Let's go back to that. Gad got overcame, right? That already happened. You see what I'm saying? But what's the second part to it? Go ahead. Genesis 49 and 19. This is what we're here to declare to you, devils. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, mm -hmm. but he shall overcome at the last. Ooh. That's what's going to happen, man. So whatever brothers got, bring out. You see what I'm saying? We finna, we finna uh, uh, be used to, to reap slaughter on you people, man. Gad about to come back because Gad is going to be a part of that 144,000 that's going to be used to uh, govern the world to come. Before the world to come, uh, we got to do what? We got to take the kingdom. Babylon got to be taken down by with violence, thrown down with violence. Matter of fact, bring that out. So, uh, Revelation 18 and uh, jump to where it say that at 21. You know, Micah 5 and 11. You know, yeah. get rolling. Come on. Revelation 18, verse 21. Obadiah 1 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone. Let's pick one. Like a great millstone. Yeah, yep. And cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more. Yep. That's what's going to happen, man. This great city of Babylon going to be thrown down, which is what? That over there. You see that? Because go to, um, what's that? Jeremiah 25 and jump to 29, I want to say. Jeremiah 25 and 29. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which on is called. What? Bring evil on the city. <laughs> Go ahead. Which is called by my name. Man. And shall ye be utterly punished? And shall ye be utterly, you know, unpunished? See? You got it twisted. Go ahead. You shall not be, you shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon the inhabitants of the earth. You see? And that's going to be, now what's interesting about it, the Israelites scattered throughout the earth. You see what I'm saying? So that sword, which we are to act as, it's going to be 
Matter of fact, bring that out in the Micah 5. Uh, Micah. Which will be in the midst of uh, many nations. Uh, yep. Micah 5 and 7. Yep. It's right there. It's uh, Micah 5 and 7. Mm -hmm. And the remnant of Jacob Ooh. shall be in the midst of many people. In the midst of how many? Of many people. Somebody get James 1 and 1. Talks about he got it. I know you got it. Go ahead. As they do from the Lord. As you go street. everywhere. Grass everywhere. All over out there. Throughout the earth. It's in balance because you got water, but yeah. Go ahead, bro. Ooh. As the Man, showers and upon the, the ground. And, and what's heavy about it is the, the water is synonymous to the people. Right. Grass everywhere people at. Right. Everywhere the water at. Right. So Jake, everywhere the water at. Man, everywhere your people at. <laughs> go ahead, bro. As the showers upon the grass. Man. That Terry is not for man. Man, yeah, it don't wait. It, it, it don't wait for you, to, man. The dude don't care. You just washed your car last night. You see what I'm saying? I'm all gonna wake up with the dude on me. You know, it ain't waiting on nobody. And when you wake up, the dude already there. You don't never beat the dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You we'll be outside to watch the dude be there. It's there. <laughs> we ain't meaning what? We not gonna wait on you people and care because you want to love everybody. Can't we all, because you say, can't we all just get along? No, when the Lord says it's time to go ahead and throw y'all down, throw this place down with violence, that's what the tribe's going to do. And it's got to get kicked off with, with Judah. You see what I'm saying? We're going to rouse Judah up. You see what I'm saying? Judah got to get pissed off enough, man. You know? And it's going to be a lot of two-thirds being used. Judah going to, the hooligans of Judah going to go crazy. And then the rest of the tribes, it's over with. You see what I'm saying? It's too much power. That Judah not Yasha. Judah is Yasha Allah, but not in the entirety. You see what I'm saying? Yasha Allah is Yasha Allah. This the whole race. You're going to feel that power, man. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Nor wait is for the sons of men. See? They're showing you what? The dew upon, they say the grass, right? It's the, talking about the sons of men. You got something? Go ahead. This Jeremiah chapter, yeah, Ezekiel, Salat. Ezekiel chapter 36. It says, also thou, son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, because the enemy has said against you, aha. Where you at? Ezekiel, Ezekiel, yep. Ezekiel 36. Yep, yep. It says, thus said the Lord God, because the enemy has said against you, against, who? against you, no, for you, against you, no. even the ancient places, the ancient high places oh, are our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, thus said the Lord God, because they have made you desolate uh -huh. and swallowed you up on every side, uh -huh. that you might be a possession uh -huh. unto the residue of the heathen. Yep. And, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers uh -huh. and are an infamy of the people. Mm -hmm. It says, therefore ye mountains of Israel, mm -hmm. hear the word of the Lord God. Yep. Thus said the Lord God to yeah. the mountains yeah, man. and to the hills, to, these hills. to yep. the rivers yep. and to the valleys. To the desolate waste and to the cities that are forsaken. Going into all conditions of Jake, we compare it to rivers. Rivers got water, little streams of water. You see what I'm saying? Then you got the desolate, those that don't got no water. You see what I'm saying? Those two thirds, come on. Time, time. You talking to all those though, come on. It says, which became a prey and derision. And we all the prey? One third elect, two thirds, all the prey. Come on. To the residue of the heathen that are round about. And they try to act like we ain't they prey when they see us. Yeah, this, this, this right here. Like, bro, you don't you know you just you filled your tank up because of me, because of my people? You see what I'm saying? I'm the reason you can put a check in your pocket. A company that you work for was started off slave labor, which is the slaves of my people. So I'm the reason you eating. You know? Go ahead, man. We the reason you eating. Ezekiel chapter 36 and 5, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. And that's what you see there. The Lord, look, where Jacob's at, dead. The Lord did what he said he going to do. He brings evil upon a city that's called by his name, right? It's in the cities of people before the place. Shall ye not utterly be unpunished? They lit, man. That's that green bay tree. You see what I'm saying? Spreading itself. They expand a new building. They put a new... You know, business among the skyline. And, and these fucking skylines is in all the cities across America. And you see the same exact replica across the earth because these other nations do what the so-called white man do. Tokyo got a skyline. You see what I'm saying? You can't make it up. South Africa got a skyline. 
It's crazy. Dubai. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They say his tongue throughout the all the earth. Everybody wanna have his language, man. He put his language everywhere. You know? Go ahead, man. Alright, Ezekiel 36 and 5. That's Therefore, why I say the great dragon shall speak. Right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai. Surely in the fire of my jealousy. And it's so spiritual, the chariot right in front of us. Right there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like right on us. You know what I'm saying? Like lined up with us, watching. Come on. Con, con. Yeah, man. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land mm -hmm. into their possession. Because the America not really our land. Cahokia, however you want to pronounce it, Esau. It's not the city of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? This was down post up for Jake, a getaway. You see what I'm saying? A hideout. It's like we ain't really from West Africa. Jake ain't from West Africa. We fled, man. You found us in America and you found us in West Africa. But guess what? We from Israel. Running from your ass. And these heathens that was whooping our ass due to us putting our foot on our own neck. Like the Jake was saying, he said, we put our foot on our own neck. You know what I'm saying? It says, with the joy of their heart, with the despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. See? Joy, they joy. And it, it's a prey. People use these lands to come up here and get their sightseeing off. Like how they say eye candy. You see what I'm saying? Food porn, eye porn, whatever the hell they call it. You know? That's just, this, this is for it. This, this pleases. Our oppression is used to, to please these damn heathens. Why ain't nobody bowing down, man? Saying sorry. Why ain't nobody crying? Where Gad go, man? All the babies. Where they go? He killed the babies, everybody. And put them on reserves in regions you would never think people live in. That's where Gad at. And a lot of the Gadites is in the cities as niggas now. You see what I'm saying? You think you should, because all of us look alike. You think a lot of more different circles? No. These are all the Israelites looking alike, but they, you're seeing all the tribes every time you look around. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. House of who? Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Fine. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So going into all the Israelites, come on. And the house of Joseph. Specifically, the northern kingdom, come on. A flame. Woo. They're going to catch flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. They're going to, guess how Gad going to overcome in the end. The first get scriptures, bring them out. Go uh -huh. ahead. It says, and devour them. Uh -huh. And there shall be, so like, and, and there shall huh? And do what? And devour them. Just like this flame, see how this flame devouring this wood? You know what I'm saying? This stubble, like it's nothing. It's helpless. You see what I'm saying? It ain't nothing it can do. Nothing. When that flame on it, this shit going up in smoke. All the in, all the enemies that was incensed against you shall be in smoke or, or nothing. Smoke do what? It turn to nothing. Go ahead, bro. Fine. It says, and there shall not be any remaining. You see? Of the house of Esau. Once the fire overtook this whole thing, shit gone. Like it ain't never existed. Go ahead. It says, for the Lord Yahweh. And that's that eradication the Lord promised. Mm. That's it. That's, that's, that's the scripture. For the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. Do the Lord lie? Come on, man. Uh -huh. That's right. Huh? You know? What else we hold? Micah 5 and 8. Go ahead. No, Micah 5 and 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the yeah, beasts of the forest, the as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through... See, and, and, and Jacob shall be what? On the top of that spot. Huh. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people. You see? Because every time you around, when it's you and you see the other nations, it's always some, this is how I feel, some you against them type shit. You see what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Because... You the people, you the person, this your role. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, man. 
as a lion among the beasts of the forest. You like a lion too, because you ain't scared among them. You like, I can't wait to eat y'all, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead, man. As a young lion among the flocks of sheep. I'm hungry, come on. Hunger pains, come on. Who, if he go through, both tread it down. Yeah, go ahead, bro. And tear it in pieces, yeah. and none can deliver. Yep, that's it. Cause why? You in the hands of how about me out shot? You know? And we his children, man. You guys got something? Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and 21. Mm. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, yep. for the iniquity of their fathers. Yep. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yep. It says, For I will rise up against them, mm -hmm. saith the Lord of hosts, yep. and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew. Yeah, because that's what he did to our people. When you read, uh, Genesis, was it, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 30, 31. Uh, in fact, you can forget it real quick. You know, you said thy sons and daughters going to go into slavery. Uh, go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. See? <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. So that's what got to happen to you. Let's get that in Psalms 137. You know what I'm saying? That's the pieces. Bring it straight out. That's it. Psalms 137 verse 9. Happy shall he be that take up and dash up thy little ones against the stone. Take it and dash two little ones? Thy little ones. Because that's what they did to her. You think they just went into slavery and was drinking lemonade and chilling? He saw, I'll show you what he did to our babies, man. It was gator bait, you know what I'm saying? On yeah. postcards, they were put in cages. They showed us that on what? Uh, goodbye, Uncle Tom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They will rip the, the babies out of the Gadite woman's stomach. You see what I'm saying? With the umbilical cord attached and everything. You see what I'm saying? They did this for real. We done been put, put them off the proof now. Like, yeah, I don't think that. So that shit probably happened. You see what I'm saying? Because it ain't like you can. People are like, well, I don't see it happening, so it ain't really happening. Niggas is bold enough to say that. Just, I don't see the slave ships. So even though I see that like we messed up and I probably see pictures that we has uh, chains around our neck, we, I don't see them slave ships, so we didn't even go into slavery. You see what I'm saying? That's the equivalent. So just cause you don't see Esau pulling babies out of stomachs and stepping on, you know what I'm saying? The pictures ain't enough now. The pictures of ships ain't enough now. He didn't, eventually, he didn't even rip nobody out of nobody's stomach. He didn't do that. So now, the, the Lord a liar. But yeah, we drove here, and the place existed, and what the fuck is that? You see what I'm saying? So the Lord not a liar, man. He said he'll set, matter of fact, get that in um, Isaiah 1 real quick. 1 and uh, I wanna say 7, it might be 12. Definitely. Yep. Um, Isaiah 1 and 7. The country is desolate. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go, our, our place, we... Desolation, man. Getting to this place is desolate. You see what I'm saying? The hood is right before Kohiki. But guess who we all you see? Esau. Looking at you. I ain't you trying to come out, and they pull down, and I look at that. Nigga don't tell me what to do, look. You see what I'm saying? I want them chicks face. You devil's gonna go into slavery, man. Go ahead, bro. Your cities are burned with fire. See? That's what happened to, uh, I think Kohiki was burnt down too. That's why a lot of those, uh, uh but yeah, that's what happened. The same thing that happened at home. The city, uh, the city was burnt with fire. Like, uh, Esau said it, race it, race it. Right. To the ground. Right. You see what I'm saying? Do he change? <laughs> Can his leopard change his spot? And the Ethiopian changes again. That says the Lord. Go ahead, bro. Your land. Oh, you see? <laughs> Go ahead. Whose land? Your land. Come on. Strangers devour it in your presence. Man. 
That's it, man. Go ahead. And it is desolate. That's it. It's desolate. We come up here as a bunch of strangers that ain't even got out devouring. Where your friends is at? You see what I'm saying? Where they friends is at? Where y'all in Bordery at? You see what I'm saying? Where y'all arrows at, man? Where your turquoise at? Where your new book and animal skins at? Where your cattle at? You see what I'm saying? They ain't coming and doing none of that, man. Where your melanin at, man? You know what I'm saying? Got them devils up here. And a bunch of sellout gadites. Really ain't even a lot of them sellouts. They just, they the, uh, like the Brother Red, they them uh, cities with uh, no water, them, them, them deserts. That's what it says, it's like, them, they them deserts, man. You know? What else, Brother Scott? Revelation 12 and 12. Bring it out. It's Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. Yep, see? And heavens are what? High up. You know what I'm saying? And who, who the heavens represents us. That's why I say ye heavens. You see what I'm saying? Get that in that um, conversation in heaven. Is that first, second Peter three? What manner of person he ought you to be? One in like uh, three and something like that towards the end. Okay, uh, go ahead. Can you do this All right, it's done. Let's see. That's one with the other one. You get the, you get the one in uh, in fact, you get that one. Get the one in uh, no, second Peter three. Yeah, okay. It says, for our conversation is in heaven. See, that's what it's going into. And that's high up. Get that in uh, Job real quick, 36. He said, I will seek my knowledge afar. You see what I'm saying? What's afar? The heavens. You see what I'm saying? And somebody line up with whoever get it. Get uh, 2 Corinthians 12. 2 Peter 3 and uh, then uh, first of all, you In fact, you bring that out first, then you get this. Yep. Second Peter 3, mm -hmm. verse 11. Yep. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> That's why we're saying it before it's too late. Shit's gonna be gone anyway, come on. What men of persons are ye to be yep. in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, holy conversation is going into what? Go ahead. Chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. Corinthians 12 and 1. Then verse 20. What's the other one? Go. 12 36. Knowledge of the It says, For our conversation is in heaven. It might be another chapter. Yep, oh. see? For our conversation is in heaven. That's that. That's what manner of coaches are you to be in, in all holy conversations. The holy conversation is in, is in the heaven. That's a, that's a high up uh, uh, conversation. Get the uh, scripture that says, Wisdom is too high for a fool. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It says, for whence also we look for our Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You see? Our conversation is in, in, is in, is in the heavens because everything we waiting on is, is, is being ordained and going to come from the heavens. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Yes, yep. Yep. That's it. You got it, bro. Proverbs 24, verse 7. Uh -huh. Wisdom is too high for a fool. See that? Wisdom is too high for a fool. Our conversation is wisdom. Go ahead. He opened not his mouth from the gate. Ooh. He can't because his conversation ain't in the heavens. He on a low frequency. You see what I'm saying? So our conversation is 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 is, is, is uh is wisdom. Because wisdom is high, like the heavens. You see what I'm saying? Uh matter get the uh it's, it is higher than heaven. I cannot attain to it. Get higher than heaven. I think that's in uh it might be in the apocalypse if you try to register. I already have it. Bring out what y'all got. You got the one? Yeah, I got the second. You want to go first? Get that one first. Yeah. 36 and 3. Uh -huh. I will fetch my knowledge from afar. Woo! Come on. And will yeah. ascribe my righteousness. Salakia. And will ascribe righteousness to, over there. Right. to my maker. Uh -huh. For truly my words shall not be false. Yep. He that is perfect in knowledge is with thee. See, that's it. <laughs> you know, because our conversation comes from the heavens, man. See, that's what, that's what we talk about. 
You can't talk without knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Right. Bring out what you got. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 26. It says, For such an high priest. No, ain't it? In the yeah. I cannot attain to it. Attain to it. This is 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Uh, matter of fact, that ain't the part. Jump, read down to the part where it says, uh, part up. I think that's Job. Job, uh, who can search out the most high to perfection. I think that's 11. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I believe. Yeah, that is it. Who can know it? <laughs> who can turn up 11 and 7? Sorry, 7. Job 11 and 7. Huh? Huh? Job 11 and 7. Can thou by searching find out God? Can thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? Come on. It is as high as heaven. See? A heavenly conversation is high. You see what I'm saying? That's what, that's, look, the Lord manifested it. We're eventually going to be talking on ships. That's a high conversation to be talking about being on spaceships. You see what I'm saying? Is it too high for you? You see what I'm saying? What's them too high for a fool? See that? Come on. What canst thou do? Come on. Deeper than hell. Yeah, it's deep. You know, we shouldn't try to go too deep. Come on. What canst thou, uh, what canst thou know? Yeah. That's it. We finished that. Whatever you guys got, bring up. It says, you want me to finish Joe? Yeah. It says, uh, no, that was it. Yeah. Whatever you guys got, you know, regarding. Um, this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. Oh, says, we ain't get that 12 and 12 either. Yeah, I'm still holding it. Oh, yeah, we ain't finished it. Okay, okay. Bring it out too bad. Matter of fact. Oh, yeah, bring it out. Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven. See that? So you talking about this being, what's going on down here is, is, is reaching up there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. If you know what's going on, you're going to be talking about your conversation going to be in the heavens. Because that's all that's going on. You see what I'm saying? This shit is like, it's offending the Lord, the Creator now. You see what I'm saying? That's how I, that's what's on the line. So we ain't tripping. Go ahead, bro. Come. Is it more on the verse? Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. It says, And the, the Most High have remembered her iniquities. It says, see, ain't, And what's those iniquities? You took America, man. You took so-called Turtle Island and renamed it. You see what I'm saying? And it wasn't called Turtle Island. You see what I'm saying? We spoke Hebrew once again. Go ahead, bro. Con. It says, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Remember her even as she re so like reward her. Okay. Con. It's Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Yeah. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Mm -hmm. For the devil, for the, for the devil right. is come down unto you, yeah. having great wrath. See? Because, because he, mm. come, come, because. He, he so, this nigga so down, he so proud, he gonna actually come down. You see what I'm saying? He got that power to do that, man. And he gonna stay down. Go ahead, bro. Because. He know that he had but a short time. Yeah, time. Go ahead, bring that out real quick. Go ahead, you got it. 
Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15, it says, And I am very sore displeased with the heathen mm -hmm. that are at ease. Yep. For I was but a little displeased, uh -huh. and they helped for the affliction. Okay. So I just bring that out in the sense of Esau, Esau thinking he good. Let the Lord ain't, ain't, ain't gonna come back. That's why he basically got all this wickedness going up to the heavens. He just kept on going. He ain't got no fortune. Yep. Go ahead, finish, bro. Get the scripture that say uh, he found hateful. To I was gonna say, hateful. That's, that's why the Lord got to come back. That's why he coming. That's why he got Jehoshaphat coming down. Put, put, put him back in his place. Yep. There's a scripture that say that. It say, uh, don't forget it. He found hateful. Back up what you just said. That's it. Psalm 36, verse 2. Mm -hmm. For he flattered himself in his mm -hmm. home. For he. Mm -hmm. For he. See? The same mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Flatter himself in his own eyes. Uh -huh. Until his iniquity be found to behave for him. See? Uh -huh. You know, this nigga really think he good. Like the Lord ain't gonna come back, like he said, man. He's so high up. You know? He's flattering himself in his own eyes. You know, I want to see what you get. What you got? Time. Get Psalms 10. You know, I'm mad if I got to get it. Get Psalms 10. And, uh, let's see. Psalms 10. And, uh, I think I believe, bro. You know, it says, uh, I'm going to ask you starting at 2. The wicked in his pride. The wicked in his pride don't persecute the poor. You see? You already got it. You can't. He, gonna, he proud enough to as it come down. You know what I'm saying? It says, but to destroy the wicked in his pride do per persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You, you prepare just to fight against the Aosha, our salvation. You see what I'm saying? You're going to die on them jets. You see what I'm saying? It says, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire. You see that? And blessed the covetous. And that's what? This Maxine and, and it's getting and that's gonna actually uh it's pretty much encryption for the mark of the beast. You see what I'm saying? It's a for the for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. You see? The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts, you see. It's the pride of their countenance. This is so-called white man looking like. This is work. You see what I'm saying? You got something? Uh, Go ahead. Psalm chapter 50, verse 20, it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, yep. thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Mm -hmm. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. So thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will prove thee. And set them in order before thine eyes. See, and that's what's happening, man. You see what I'm saying? Yep, bring that up. Ezekiel 25, verse 14. Uh -huh. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom uh -huh. by the hand of my people Israel. Yep. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. Yep. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. He's going to put it in us to really make, when we hit them, it's going to be like the Lord hitting them. Read again. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the, by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. According to whose anger? According to my anger and, whose and according to my fury. Go ahead. And they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. It ain't going to be our vengeance. It's going to be the Lord's vengeance. How mad is the Lord? Then he tell angels, real quick, get that in 2 Ezra 4. Jump to the part when he said, recall me everything. You see what I'm saying? You can't. So how can you ever be as mad as the Lord? You see what I'm saying? You couldn't. They say, real quick, get that in um, Mark Psalms 11 and 7. I got to get it. I got to get it. Read that real quick. Psalms chapter 11 verse 7. It says, for the righteous, Yahweh, loveth righteousness. His countenance. Don't behold the upright. Uh, uh, what is it? 11 and what is it? 7 and 11? Drop 7 and 11. Angry and wicked every day. It's one of 11. Number 12 and 7. Yep, that's it. 7 and 11. 
5. Psalm chapter 7, verse 11, it says, The Most High judges the righteous, uh -huh. and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. You see? That's every day of existence. There's things have went on. You see what I'm saying? Who got it? Second answer four. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, the, it's the beginning of the verse. It's literally at the top. Starting second answer four, like one. It's like the first few verses. It's literally in the chapter. I thought it was all uh, four. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's right at the top. Yeah, recall. That's, that's it. Oh, kind. It will it'll probably say something specifically different. Second, that's just four and one. Uh, is, it, is it five? Just a five. Yeah. Second, that's just four and five. Uh -huh. And I said, Tell on, uh -huh. my Lord. Then said he unto me, Go that way. Weigh me the weight of the fire, uh -huh. or measure me the blast of the wind. Matter of fact, Jump to where and say, think thou to comprehend the way of the most high. You see what I'm saying? Yup, two, yup. Second answer is going two. Shit, you might as well start at one. Right, Just jump to five. <laughs> Second answer is going one. One, two, and five. An angel that was sent unto me, right. whose name was Uriel. Yeah, angel had to get sent. Come on, messenger, come on. Gave me an answer. Yup. And said, uh -huh. thy heart has gone to too, uh, too far. Too far. Too far uh -huh. in this world. Yeah, your mind, come on. And thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High? You see, you can't do it. Let's give an example. Let's see if you could do it, Ezra. Go ahead, verse 5. Ezra was a prophet, right? Right? He prophesied. People say he ain't a prophet. All right, go ahead. Second Ezra 4 and 5. Uh -huh. And I said, Tell on, my Lord. Uh -huh. Then said he unto me, uh -huh. Go thy way. Uh -huh. Weigh me the weight of the fire. Come on. Or measure me the blast of the wind. Tell me, how does the wind... Like, where does the wind come from? You see? Measure me the blast of the wind. You know? How strong is the wind? Like, comprehend these things first off. Go ahead. Or call me again the day that is past. You see? Call me again the day that is past. Meaning, tell me everything that happened yesterday. Everything. Not just in your, in your hood, in your, in your hood, in your city. I put hood and city together. In your hood. In your hood or your city, your state, no. Everybody you know, no. The earth. Tell me everything cats did, squirrels did. You know what I'm saying? How many squirrels fall, fall over nuts? You see what I'm saying? How many birds was fighting over a tree spot? Call, bring that all back to me. How many leaves fell off a tree? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, what, is, what age did it turn that day, yesterday? Tell me that, man. Who died? Who got shot? Who was born? <laughs> That's it. You can't do it, right? So, how can, if if you can read that chapter again, Ezekiel 20, what was it, 25 and 14, and then after that you bring out what you got. How could we, what is our anger compared to the Lord? Come on. Ezekiel 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Whose vengeance? My vengeance mm -hmm. upon Edom. Because why? Who can really be more vengeful to Edom than the Lord? Nobody. Because we can't even comprehend everything that happened yesterday. What Edom even did yesterday. They do more stuff than I will ever meet the news. See? Come on. By the hand of my people Israel. And he's going to use us to do it. Bring it forth. See? That's why I say when, I, when, they, when we hit them, they gonna feel like they got hit by the Lord, the Creator Himself. That's how much power He's gonna give us. Come on. And they shall do and eat Him according to my anger and according to my fury. That's on. Get uh, Amos three and seven. Go ahead. And they shall know my vision, says the Lord God. Yep. You got it. Now, you know, to bounce off that scripture, to go into more detail, Leviticus twenty-eight. No, yeah. slot. Le Leviticus twenty-six and eight. And five of you. Talking about us Israelites, the hand of his people Israel. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemy shall fall by the hand of Israel. Put them to flight. 
One of us is gonna chase hundreds, five, five probably chase thousands, and so on, so on. Specifically by who? Everybody or the remnant? Yeah. They're pros. They're pros. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Yeah. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee yeah. will I break in pieces the nations. Yeah. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And it says, And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And then keep going. The Lord, the Lord is going to use us to destroy these people. You know, but it's all going to be through his anger. You know, we just his um again we his battle wax. Yeah, we might as well bring that out. Yeah. Yeah. Lord willing, we just right now we doing what we realizing that is Lord willing going to be us. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else left to do it. You know what I'm saying? These niggas fit there, they went in. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 21 it says, And the Savior shall come How up. How many? The saviors what? shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. See, this is basically Mount Zion. Is the world. See, he saw them build no city over there. You see what I'm saying? He's saying this shit. He's too scared. He can't build upon a landmark. Certain landmarks he won't try. A lot of mounds he did roll over. Like, this is all shit petty once you get it. And then most of them, what he did, he was still, he was still possibly scared too. He he just do what? He'll build a golf course. See that? <laughs> you know, whatever you brought got. Kind of. It says, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Yep. And how about some other shall? When the when the who take it, when the saints take it. When God overcome. You see what? Yeah, 
Isaiah 31 and 5 says, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Defending also, he, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will, he will preserve it. Where, where you at again? That's heavy. Yeah, bring it out again, bro. Isaiah crazy. 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over it, he will preserve it. Birds flying, man. Meaning what? There's going to be things flying, man. You know what I'm saying? Like birds. And that's what? Obviously, you can't be. I got something. Oh, man. Psalm chapter 149 and verse 4. It says, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. It says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing loud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. In their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishment upon the heathen. And punishment upon the people. And all you people that's eating with that devil, man. It says, sword is upon all the inhabitants. Uh, that are upon the people that are mingled in the midst of this place. People living it up right now. You know, in St. Louis. You see what I'm saying? Niggas doing all type of wicked 
imagine what's going on over there. You see what I'm saying? And this, this, this is one of the cities that's high in the murder rate. You see what I'm saying? Like St. Louis, like top five, I believe. You know? Yep, they was at some point. It's like number one at some point too, I believe. If you got anything else, come on. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10, it says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that the kings may be brought. Yeah, that their who, their who's? That their kings yeah. may be brought. Their who's? Their kings. Who's kings? Their kings uh -huh. may be brought. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Once again, we're on the mound, the mound of, the, of the kings and chiefs of the, the Gadites. And they ain't here no more. You see what I'm saying? So it only makes sense for the other kings to be brought. You see what I'm saying? To a lower state. You know? That's why the Lord said, though y'all mount up as the, you know, as the eagle, mount that stuff up as the eagle, he's gonna bring you down to the ground. You see what I'm saying? So you're only doing, you're only putting yourself in position to be where you're gonna be at. As I say, the devil having great wrath coming down. You see what I'm saying? Knowing that he had but a short time. Based on the spirit, you know it's over with. So why not? Uh, uh, that was low, he saw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he's gonna be low. So he broke got anything else? One more. Yeah. It's Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. It says, Reward her even as she rewarded you. Mm -hmm. And double unto her, double according to her works. Mm -hmm. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Okay. That's gonna be the, the end result. Y'all, y'all messed us up. We gonna mess you up even worse. That's you thought you was a terror. That's that we meditate. We meditate terrors now, just to have the Lord give it to us on, on, a, on a on a on a crazy level that we can't even fathom as of right now because we ain't even got the spiritual powers. But as soon as we have the spiritual powers, we coming for you. coming for your head. Yeah. Once once the Lord, that's why He said, wait up, wait upon me, because it's His desire to gather the, 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 the heathen and assemble them. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. 31 8. Not 31 8. Uh, Zephaniah 3 8. Yeah, we definitely waiting on that power, though. You know, but we waiting on the Lord. Go ahead. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. He's going to do it to y'all. Go ahead. Therefore, wait ye upon me, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, Yahweh, yep. until the day that I rise up. That move. Until the day that I rise up to the break. Go ahead. For my. Determination is to, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation by us, as we just read, right? even all my fierce anger. Wait, we wait, no him to do it. No. It says, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Go ahead, bro. So that's that. Uh, Joseph being turned to a flame. Uh, yeah. Jacob being a fire. Yeah. So yeah, we we waiting for the Lord to you know give us that upgrade so we can actually take vengeance, take the kingdom, and everything. And this is what happens when you do wait. Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. They're gonna play on eagles. <laughs> you know. You know once they, once we get our strength renewed, that's when we're gonna be punching holes through their chest, and then throw them down the street. And it's gonna feel like who hit them? Like you know, the Lord hit them. yeah, just like Lord hit them, and with wings as eagles, yeah. cause you know all types of brothers haven't dreamed about flying, like uh, Apostle Gabar and myself and other brothers. He says it's like this, brother. <laughs> Come on. Brother. Yeah, that's what happens. You wait, wait upon the Lord. Exactly. Beautiful. Got anything else? Go ahead, bro. It's Isaiah 2 and 11. It says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, right. <laughs> and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. Down. <laughs> they bowing down. Wow, see? Say at the end, when everybody going down, the Lord's going to bring us up. Man. See that? We're on the dang, the highest mountain in, mount, mountain in America. Come on. And Yahweh our God alone uh -huh. 
y'all be exalted in that day. Yep. And that's it. It's all, it's all to the praise of how Bashi now shall prove his word to be true. According to how he wanted to be proven. You see what I'm saying? To be true. What's got anything else? Let's close out. Give all honor, praise, and glory to heaven. Father, in the name of your son. Yahoo! Bashi! Yo, Shah! Why would you try? Why would you try? Why would you try? Yup. Crazy.